So welcome to another video tutorial here on Shade Designs. Now, I know I haven't been making video tutorials for quite some time, um, and that's due to the fact that I've been quite busy with projects, uh, you know, work with clients, and as well as creating a new website for these guys and transferring everything from the old website um, and creating a new whole platform for these guys to download materials and things like that, and also an easy way for these guys to contact me. Okay, so the new website is still under the same address, so it's shadedesigns.com. Um, if I'll be posting all my recent work, um, and you can also, you know, contact me. Um, <clears throat> but even I've said, um, we're going to get to the, today's tutorial, and today's tutorial is how to make a CD cover professionally. I know I've made another video titled the same uh, earlier at the start of the year. Um, and that has got a lot of success and with a lot of people asking me um, you, know, will, you know whether if I could make another video you know showing them in how to make it uh, step by step but in a simplified um, in a version um, and today's request does come from um, Fatina Shea Meyer uh, I apologize if I if I said that if incorrectly but he's a fan on our Facebook fan page which is facebook.com forward slash shade designs um, and he also requested that you know he wanted uh, a mock-up design of uh, his favorite R&B singer Lloyd <clears throat> now our Facebook fan page is the platform where you can download all the um, is where I post all my you know recent work, uh, any for news or anything like that you know that's happening. Is the first place that it is. If I mention, then it is connected to my Twitter account. So if you're not on, if you're not part of the Facebook fan page, I advise you to click the like button. Okay, so um, let's get into the tutorial. <laughs> Okay guys, so now the first thing for this tutorial is that you have to go to my website and click on to the download sections. Now, this part of my website, you can download uh, materials, you know, relevant, uh, you know, for the work that you wanted to do. Um, and I've compacted it into a way that's easily, um, you know, readable and also it's easily, you know, categorized for you guys to to download so just click on to specifications and that's all the specifications for cds and album covers and uh for blu-ray discs and cd discs all that stuff so you, and then scroll down <coughs> scroll down to you see the one that says cd case jewel case okay so click on that um it's a pdf um save it you know like onto your destinations um you know save one to the desktop whatever once you saved it open it on Photoshop um, and you you have you have um, a file similar to this now I haven't made this file specifically um, it's been created by Dex Audio which is a Melbourne based uh, audio visual you know called, um, like audio for mastering uh, uh, in the business and uh, yeah so uh, you know, thanks to them. So this is their template, you know, that I always use, and it's also it's easy for me, you know, it's like to teach you guys um, in how to get the actual template. Now we're gonna just be making the front cover um, with no spine, and the spine on a CD case is the things that are on the sides of the CD case. So, for instance, if you pack, if you stack, um, you know, like CDs on top of each other, um, the things that are in on the sides are called the spine. So we're just going to work on the front cover, okay? Um, and that's going to be 138 millimeters by 117, 117.5 millimeters. Make sure it's set in millimeters and not in pixels, okay? <clears throat> so 138 and then just right click to the millimeters. Now I already have a page that's already set up for these guys and I also have um, a background that, that I made earlier. Now, as I said, you could always download. Um, I'll be 
for, I'll be you know putting all these if individual files um, and images you know, that I have you know prepared early for you guys. I'll be placing them onto this part of my website. It's under the video section. So like once this finish, this video is finished and uploaded, it will be under here under the video file section, um, and you'll be able to have the option to. <clears throat> Like we have the option to download the material, the material um, just under the process for download for PSD. So you'll be able to, to download the actual material and working on and work on it. Um, I, I do apologise if you can't hear me properly because I do have a flu. Um, but enough said. Uh, let's just start with the tutorial. Now we're going to start off with this um, blurry for background that I've created for earlier. <coughs> now as I said. Uh, the template size is 138 millimeters by 117.5 as a height okay so that's the uh, standard uh, size for a cd case okay so we're gonna place um an image cutout that i have of the artist i'm just gonna press ctrl a uh, and paste it onto our page here yeah. as you can see it's a bit um big so we do just press ctrl t or command t um, hold down your shift key and slowly rescale it down to so it can fit onto the page okay and make sure that you hold the shift key because if you don't hold the shift key it's going to lose it's going to lose its proportion and you don't want that to happen <coughs> so just make that big okay so I'll just show you how simple it is to make an album cover uh, sorry I have to do that again Mm -hmm. Okay, I put them right there. Okay, put a okay, <clears throat> okay. Then I want you guys to create to create a new layer by clicking on to layer new layer. Uh, just press enter on that. Um, as you can see, we have a new layer, so just make sure that that is arranged on top of uh, the image that we have of the artist. Um, and we're going to place, um, we're going to change, you know, the color of the um, of the background. So actually, rearrange that layer and make sure that it's below the actual for artist. I do apologize for made that mistake earlier. So just make sure it's below the actual for artist and in between the artist and the background okay so we're gonna make this uh for background to be more greenish bluish because i don't want you know like the red part um <clears throat> and i'll show you how easy it is to change that okay so as you said and the reason why i wanted to change to blue is because as you can see on you know um his jacket uh it's revealing that you know it's been taken from a screen or a light that was a bit bluish or something like that so that's why uh, the, the blue part doesn't suit, you know, like the red and orange, uh, you could say, you know, for background. Uh, so click onto your normal for layer, uh, grab the rectangle, and we're going to fill it with this color, this blue color. Um, and the code for this specific color I'm using is this. Okay, so it's 0CAEDC. Just press enter and we're going to make a uh, square, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, press Control T or Command D to bring out the free transform tool. And if you can't, if you don't have to do that and you used to the old fashioned, just click on to edit, uh, free transform, and that does the same thing. Um, and then just put it, you know, in. So it doesn't have to be exactly because, so you know, since it's the same color, uh, and then just press it there. And then the trick in changing the color of the actual file background is by playing the blending uh, the blending option on the actual uh, the blue for layer. Okay, so we're gonna right hand click on that layer and click onto blending options. And on the blending for mode, just change that to multiply. Now as you can see as I change it, you'll see the difference in the background. Okay, so you can see how you know. Uh, the background has changed, um, and if I take, if I make it to normal, uh, actually, it doesn't, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, as you can see, 
if I if I don't apply that blue uh, for layer, it becomes you know just a normal standard, and that makes it more unique. Okay, so just press OK, um, and I want to uh, for maybe flip um, you know the background because I want like, like more colors to be shown on this side on the left side instead of the right side. So just click flip horizontal, um, and there it is. As you can see, it's flip. Um, and we're going to place a logo now. I already made this for a logo, so it's best that you work, um, you know, with your document, uh, place it on, like, create your logo or text like that in a different uh, the document, and then, you know, import it to the destination where you're working on the final outcome, okay? Uh, just gonna merge these two together. <clears throat> gonna just copy uh, and paste. Now, as you can see, it's blue, and the reason why it's blue and not white is because that this layer is below the actual blue layer, so, yeah? so that's why it's turning out to be blue. Okay, so we're gonna just resize it. Okay. on top okay um, so just keep playing around with the actual font I mean play around with the actual title uh, until you get something that you're satisfied um, and as I said this does come with a bit of practice so um, <clears throat> no just you know, just have the time and you know, have the pleasure in playing around with Photoshop, okay? Um, we're going to, as you can see here, <clears throat> as you can see here, I want this part of the lines to be behind the actual for artist. Um, and, and in order to do that, uh, what you do is you just just highlight this part on the actual, on the actual for layer, okay? Um, Okay, yeah, so just highlight this part. Highlight this part. Uh, Control C and just for delete that part off. And what we're going to do is we're going to paste it in its own position uh, by you know, hitting edit, uh, paste special, and then placed in place. Okay, so that's going to place it in its position. Now we're going to place this behind actual for artist. As you can see now, it's it's behind the artist, and the other part of the font is on top of you know, the actual for artist. Okay, and we're just gonna simply just stretch that all the way down to the bottom. Okay. <coughs> all right. Okay. Um, now since that's there, what we're gonna do is um, also we're gonna increase the L's, you know, like the L and the D part, we're going to just increase that to be even more higher, okay, by pressing, so select that part, so we're on the layer of, um, of, of the title that's on top of the artist and not the blue one, uh, co press Control T or Command T and stretch that all the way to the top, okay, all the way to the top, okay, Okay, so that's where we are. Um, and we're also going to include um, an overlay, okay? <clears throat> we're going to put an overlay on the actual, uh, in the whole, um, you know, cover. So, <coughs> because at the moment that just looks a bit plain. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get, uh, click on here. We're gonna get um, just type in um, you know texture. Oh, spell that wrong. Uh, it'll pick it up anyway. Texture. Uh, click onto the images and then just pick out if any. So just make sure that it's on set to large um, and get this one. This looks alright. 
same. So once we have that, uh, just copy that and uh, paste that on top of everything. So just I'm gonna put that onto the, the top layer. Uh, press Control T or Command T um, and rescale that to so that it fits the actual page. Okay, so once we have something like that, we are going to uh, play around with um, you know cutting out our um, a circle or something so we could put that as an overlay on top of all the layers. Okay, so we're gonna just get our, our brush out or the eraser tool. Click onto the eraser, um, and what we're gonna do? Just click on to uh, the circle here. Now, since that if everybody has this uh, preset already installed on their Photoshop, so there's no excuse that you don't have it. So it's already there for you. Um, we're just going to um, uh, change the size. Now, as you can see. You should see an outline of the actual fire eraser and the size. If you don't see it, that means your cap lock is on. So just turn off your cap lock on the keyboard um, and you should see it. So now as you can see, it's small. We're going to increase that to, uh, you know, just to be for larger. Um, we can do a bit larger than that. Oh, that's a bit too big. Um, okay. Yep, that's all right. Um, and we're going to click on to the hardness. We're just going to set it all the way down. Uh, as you can see, sixty percent. Okay, and you can see that it creates a certain uh, effect. And you might see this on on some of your favorite CDs out there. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to just apply a blending if option on that for layer, specific for layer. So right hand click um, and play around. Now if you want you can leave like that or if you want you can just play around with the blending options and see what we can come up with. Uh, there's, there's quite a few. Uh, there we are. Actually, set that back. There's quite a few and then make that. <coughs> To be overlay, uh, fantastic. Okay, and we're just going to just for rub out. Uh -uh. Yep, just rub out some parts of his face. As you can see, there's a bit of lines on his face, so we just have to just take that off just to make it more bright. Okay, and uh, well, we're done. And um, if you want, you could place, you know, just to make this more, um, uh, you know, just to make this more professional. You know, what I always do, I always apply um, the explicit, the advisory explicit uh, for logo, just to make it a bit more professional. So that way, you know, when people see it, they think like, oh, this is, you know, this is a legit um, album cover. I just uh, place that on your uh, anywhere and rescale it down um, and usually these go either on the bottom left hand side or the right hand side so in my case I'm just gonna leave it on the bottom left hand side okay press enter so that's there um, and what we're gonna do is we're going to cut out um, we're gonna place uh, we're, you know, we're gonna actually, no, just leave it there. Yep, just leave it as it is. Okay, so we're all, so, so the UI is all complete. Um, as I said, all the images and files will be compiled onto a zip folder, and you could, and you could also find it on the video section of shadedesigns.com. Um, you should, you should have an option called um, download PSD. So th that's it for today's tutorial. Um, I hope you learned something. Um, <clears throat> as I said, uh, if you're not a fan on the Facebook page, just make sure, just make sure you know to be a fan also, because um, if I'll be posting with all the materials, uh, with the latest work I do, um, and things like that, I'll be posting them on to the Facebook, and also I'm on Twitter. Um, just go to my Twitter page, and you'll be able to follow me on Twitter, and I'll also be breaking all the news there on Twitter as well. Um, and also, recently I just joined <coughs> Instagram, 
um, and you can find me by just click on to his Instagram feed um, you could be able to follow me from there so that's it for today's tutorial I do have to thank uh, for Tinasha and for Mayo uh, for sending me this request and I hope you guys follow something that's it for today's tutorial